Ready? Breathe in the tits, come on. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, God help us. Now, if you remember, which I'm sure you will, I spoke to Tom, I'm very shouty, I'm sorry, I'm, she's like, Michelle's like, Jesus, I'm deaf. Um, I spoke to Tom a couple of years ago. Eons ago, wasn't it, about liquid gold? Yeah, so Tom and I did a video hidden in a backstage dressing room at QVC called How to Use Liquid Gold. Locked in, they wouldn't let us out. They wouldn't let us out. And they already might not come back. Well, we did go off on a quite a few different tangents, but it was extremely entertaining. We were bloopers so, too. <laughs> we you did have tell bloopers. Tell me about those. <laughs> bloopers were very entertaining. So this time we are thrilled, I say we as if there's like a panel of 20 people, but it's just me, um, to have Michelle joining us. And Michelle is the founder and the boss lady and the queen of Alpha H. <laughs> Thanks for joining <laughs> us. I'm not really happy with that. I hope everyone's watching this at home. Don't you always get introduced like that? No, it's a lovely introduction actually. I've been called a lot worse. <laughs> <laughs> queen of Alpha H. Absolutely. Um, so I thought it would be worth having just like a quick catch up and just a little chat amongst friends because Alpha H is one of those brands that, for first of all, I'm always asked, let's just cut to the chase. I am always asked when you're going to be available in the States, so we're going to ask you that, so brace yourselves. When you're going to be available in the States, um, can I overuse liquid gold? So many questions, but why don't you give me like a, and remembering that it's me and not like yeah. real telly, so yeah. you can chill and yeah. give me the real story. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you give us like a very brief, like where you started from, how it came about and how you ended up working with Tom. Tom. Yeah. <laughs> it's been an incredible journey, I have to say, but you know, it's it's amazing that it all started because I, and it sounds so cliche, that I couldn't find a solution for my very, very pustule acne face. You know, I had it for 14 years, I lived on medication, and it wasn't until I was introduced to glycolic that my life changed. And honestly, you know, <laughs> the lack of empathy out there was yeah. outstanding, Carolyn. Yeah. I was in pharmacy, I used to sell Mary Quan, Helena Rubenstein, and then I progressed to Elizabeth Arden and all those brands, but nothing actually ever helped me. And to be perfectly honest, there was nothing available. Everything was a band-aid. Yeah. There was nothing that was solution-based. And, you know, I've been in the industry for 40 years, and uh, I, I guess that's really key for me is being able to create products that actually do something on the skin yeah and getting back to your question well I was lucky enough to meet Tom around about 11 years ago because he had heard about liquid gold his head did a complete 360 <laughs> yeah that's right I got to try it and uh, you know I, I've worked obviously we'd work together and we'd Tom work and I with... worked together 20 years ago and what I will do actually if you're just watching this and you haven't seen the other video pause Open up a new page, watch the video below, just to give you the general scope. But all will be revealed. <laughs> all will be revealed, and then come back. But yes, Tom and I met 20 years ago in Space NK. And you know, I, I worked with so many fantastic products, and then I remember being given this little bottle of liquid gold, and... Which I have to say, just to interrupt you, is like the best title, name for it's a product. It's well, and that's ever. so named because of the result, you know, because literally one application, it is, you know, people call it youth in a bottle, or yeah. it just, it's the Barocca, isn't it? It's the bomb, basically. Did you know, I ever tell you, you how, how that got its name? Yeah, I know, yeah. but tell the people! Well, you know, uh, years ago, when, we, when I created this product, I gave it to a girlfriend of mine who had said to me, her mother was considering going off and having injectables, and I said, get her to try this and ask her to ring me tomorrow morning. The mother said to me later in that, uh, that afternoon in the salon, I ring you tomorrow, why would I do that? I said, please just ring me. She called me at 7.30 the next morning. She said, this stuff's liquid bloody gold. You liquid bloody gold. gold. <laughs> liquid bloody gold. And I said, you know, that's a great name for this product. And it's just gone from there. And how do you take, because I know what it's like when you're working with a brand that has like a one obvious hero iconic product. Yeah. But what's good about you guys is that you don't trade. You, what you haven't done is made 75 SKUs called liquid gold something. Obviously there has to be an elongation of the range because that makes perfect sense. Yeah. But you have this whole other you know, side to Alpha H that I think is gets overlooked because I just said to Claire, uh, Claire is their PR, also a friend of mine from a long time ago. I said, oh God, I forgot I was coming to see you. I would have said, please bring me the cleansing oil. Mm. You know, so there's, there's this whole other side where you just, you haven't, what I love is that you haven't just traded off of just having this one great product yeah. and running with it. Well, our DNA is in clinic. 
So first and foremost, you have to have other ingredients to treat the skin. It can't just always be about glycolic and mm -hmm. resurfacing. It's what you do and put back into the skin after that. And we've got over 1,600 clinics around the globe now that work only with Alpha H. So we have to be seen as leaders in that, in the vitamin industry or, you know, just ingredients that work on the skin that and, and I think what's different about us is we've got a real minimal approach haven't we yeah well that's it I mean you know multifunctional products so and and I think we're asked all the time you know whether it's because of QVC because people know us from from that you know we'll get asked oh when when are you bringing out your micellar water oh or, you know, when are you bringing out the One neck and decolletage oh. cream, right? <laughs> <laughs> or your knee cream or something. Yeah. It's like, because obviously so many brands, they, they do follow those trends, yeah. you know. They follow a trend driven, yeah. not customer and then driven. When yeah. I, so, you know, somebody, I mean, quite recently said, oh, when are you bringing out my cellar water? And I was like, well, we're not. She was like, oh, mm. well, why not? And I was like, well, you know, we, uh, uh, the product has to have, a, every product within the range has to have a purpose. We've got fantastic cleansers. We don't need to develop another one just because it's cool or it's trendy. Or I mean, really, I think what you, just going back to what you were saying about liquid gold. If you asked all of us, you know, our team, Michelle's daughters, and said, you know, what's your favourite product? You get completely different responses. Yeah. As much as we might love liquid gold, I mean, I couldn't live without balancing cleanser. Yeah, it's ruined holidays where I've got to wherever I'm going, I've realised I've forgotten to pack it because I just love that cleanser. Yeah, I think it's important for any skincare brand though to be relevant, don't mm, you? Yeah. I mean, you've got to be relevant and we haven't had to change anything to be relevant. Mm. So I just think it's really important to be able to you continually do the right thing mm. by your customers, by the people you touch, by the people you work with, you know, and I, I, I love, what I love about being here is seeing these relationships that are so long standing. They really are, we're like and pensioners. Yeah, it's wonderful, <laughs> but you know, you just, it's rare. Yeah. It really is rare and I love it. I love the fact that, you know, Claire and you guys have been worked together and here we are still on the same journey. I mean, one day we'll be sat on a park bench with like fluffy zip up boots on, won't we? And, <laughs> well, you might and a crossword. Michelle's yeah. like, you might be, I'll be on the beach, <laughs> darling. Yeah. <laughs> so what I also like, which I'm going to cut to as if we were on like, telly is with the new products because what I always like is that you, it's hard for brands that aren't a huge multinational here's what I always find ironic multinational brands can afford to do clinical trials mm -hmm. but they very rarely do they put the money that they could spend on a clinical trial into their marketing budget but you guys a small company have done clinical trials with the newness mm. yeah and I think that's sorry Dom, I think that's important too because you know there's so many brands out there now, there's so many, we're going up against multinationals that don't spend that money. Yeah. But we believe that it's really important. When you're working with the percentages that we do and the, the low pH and things, it's really important that you can substantiate it. It's really important that you can back it up and say to the, our customers, you know, this is what's going to change your skin. This is why, this is how. And, you know, I, I think it's really important that sometimes you put your money where your mouth is. I feel like I should have presented this in its entirety, but I basically got here and started taking things apart. So tell us about the vitamin profiling, because this is one of the newer, mm. and this is your clinical trial baby. What I like is the A, B, C, and E, and I love that E is called ER, because it reminds me of George Clooney. <laughs> <laughs> I'll hold, Tom, you demo. Well, vitamin profiling, I mean, you know, the, the whole concept of it really is being able to customise your own skincare routine. You know, it's, we know that one size doesn't fit all. Everybody's got completely different issues they're dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis. Dependent on all of those factors, lifestyle, sleep patterns, stress level, all of those things, you know. So really vitamin profiling is about giving people access to solution-based products. And in, in this instance, it's for key vitamins. And vitamins are crucial to the health and well-being of the skin. And they all have a different profile a different sort of set of benefits mm -hmm. and, and you've actually you've picked up the vitamin b i think i might have a new best friend it's a, an amazing product and that actually that one was the one that we most recently clinically tested and with the vitamin b it, you've got the niacinamide in there you've got the panthenol in there we've got a base of chia um, seeds we've got um, copper tripeptides 
we've got cube three, which is a multi-weighted hyaluronic acid. So the personality we've given that is about building moisture. <laughs> You're really going for it then. There's not actually so, that much of a smell, so it's fine. I'm no, like, that's yeah. it, exactly. So, but it's interesting, when we did the clinical uh, trials on that, I mean, they're fantastic in terms of, you know, because niacinamide has got so many benefits in terms of, you know, the, the helping the skin produce a huge amount of more moisture, but it also is fantastic for an uneven skin tone, pigmentation, all of those kind of things. I think it's really important, though, to understand why, we, why we've why we gone down this whole, um, you know, vision of the vitamins is that, you know, the vegetables and everything that we used to get all of our nutrition mm. from are growing in depleted soils. Mm. And one of the things that I really, we understand is less than 1% of supplements reach the surface of your skin. So while people are taking supplements and that's fantastic, less than 1% actually gets to, to the surface of the skin. So it's really important that we think about vitamins as topical food source yeah. mm. for that lovely radiant skin. And what that's I love amazing. about the singular, uh, singular, singular, sorry, uh, vitamins, your A's. Michelle got here two hours ago and she just got off an airplane. <laughs> I'm like, sit down, smile. It's the free champagne. <laughs> so your vitamins A, B, C, and E, they're all single molecular structures. So that's not a multivitamin, so it's not diluted in any way. Mm. And you know, no two days are the same. Yeah. So what are you doing today? I'm going to be outdoors, so you go for your vitamin C. C you're yeah. going to be in doors at you know whatever you're doing you'll go for your vitamin b when you go to bed you can do a and god they feel mm. amazing yeah 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 and the e is also fantastic as we yeah. said emergency repair mm. that whenever your skin is stressed you know it's you've maybe even things like acne scarring it's amazing i can say acne because i'm not on qvc yeah That's i was so like remember amazing. you're not on telly it's on my youtube channel <laughs> and i love that the vitamin a is 0.5 percent i've just done a couple of videos in the last week talking about how that on the recent trips i've done to labs and to Yale as well, which sounds very name droppy, but it's just where we were. Mm. They're talking about how it's much more beneficial for the skin to have consistent vitamin A application yeah. rather than a humdinger of a prescription. Then you get, give yourself dermatitis, so you have to break yeah. from it and then you go back to well, it. It's with that, with the vitamin A, we kind of go low and we go slow in terms of the percentage. I like that. Can I, like have that? That? Yeah. I have that? We go yeah. low and we go slow. It sounds no, like an R&B song, well, Tom. It doesn't it? <laughs> We should be driving around in this video. Now we? you're beginning Based to remember pumpkin. the other video we did. <laughs> yes. But now I think the interesting thing with that is that vitamin A, it opens it up to far more people. Mm. I mean, the vitamin A in it's encapsulated as well, so yeah. it's time released into the skin. But as Michelle was saying, you know, we, we lose vitamin A every day going out into the environment. In, in terms of replacing that lost vitamin A in your skin through your diet, that's not going to happen, or it could mm. take days. Using that, um, serum, you can do that within hours. So, but you also get you know all of the other benefits, the firming effect of the vitamin. Yeah. Vitamin A is good for every single yeah. cellular process. It's a beautiful it really thing. Is. It is a beautiful it's thing. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> and so, you've also got a new baby in the liquid gold family. Which, uh, when I got here, they said, "Have you tried it?" I was like, "No," because it was stolen by the fifteen-year-old in my house. <laughs> which is liquid gold rose. So, tell me why. Well, we wanted to um, celebrate the success of I feel like I should just do what I normally do in a video and go, <laughs> here it is. Focus. It's focusing on my teeth, which is rather alarming. <laughs> there we go. It's liquid gold rose, but I'll put links below. So it's infused with beautiful rose, lotus, and orchid flowers. Plus, we're also using a, a fantastic Scandinavian red algae. So the whole goal and purpose behind this was to create... Um, a supercharged liquid gold that addresses things that perhaps a liquid gold doesn't target like surface dryness, mm -hmm. cooperose, breaking So better if your redness is yeah. inclined Definitely. and yeah. someone who maybe has been, been a bit too sensitive when they've used liquid gold or said it's too much or... Yeah, but I think it's just targeting issues that liquid gold didn't probably cover like that skin redness, mm -hmm. the sensitivities broken capillaries because we're strengthening the cell wall again and improving that circulation. So yeah, I think it's, um, I, you know, the, the customers are like, but it's only limited edition. I think it's going to be customer love yeah. and commitment. They'll bring it back. Yeah, we'll bring it back. Yeah, we, have, we did have one journalist who kind of said, oh, so it's kind of like the PG version of liquid gold. <laughs> Um, which, and, and I've had read some comments on social media where people are saying, oh, so they've just taken liquid gold and added a rose fragrance to it. It's oh, really not no. about that. And actually, that. one of the things that we talked about um, when Michelle was developing it, because Michelle turned up with five different bottles, mm -hmm. all in the same, like, 
packaging and just the different numbers. And she's like, right, your mission, should you choose to accept it, try all of these. And tell us which one you like. Exactly. Oh, I and like so that. It, I didn't that, get that phone call. It was <laughs> great. So I, you know, and so I went away and I tried them all. And I came back to Michelle and I said, it's number five. And she's like, yes. It is number five. Also my favourite number. Yeah. <laughs> See, I could have you helped go. you. I could have been but so think, useful. Well, I think the thing is also, when we talked about it, as much as we lo you know, love the original Liquid Gold, it is a classic product. I mean, thinking about the pretty iconic, mm -hmm. you know, obviously Sally Hughes writing about it, which was amazing, mm -hmm. really humbling. But I think the thing is that there are those occasions when, you know, if you've had a stressful day, um, you know, or your skin's a bit under the weather, dehydrated, you know, and as much as we love the liquid gold and the tingle and all that kind of thing, with liquid gold rose, because of the botanicals, it is aesthetically so, so, it's such a pleasing, pleasing experience yes. to use. So you kind of, I mean, we, we've been, you know, because obviously now we're about to launch it here in the UK, but. Would you use both? Could you use mm, both? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Look, you know, I can say it on the, uh, with you now, because as you said, Wait I'm like on QVC, <laughs> yeah. you know, the liquid gold does cause that lower trauma in the engine room. There's yeah. no doubt about that. They are full of good one-liners. I don't know if I want any trauma in my engine, <laughs> in your engine room, actually. Yeah. <laughs> And it does, it's just that within three minutes you get that explosion of collagen and hyaluronic acid. The liquid gold rose is going to do that for you, but more progressively. Okay. So you get a little bit of tingling, but, but not like it's over. still got it's yeah. still got the juice though, you still get the result. Oh absolutely, you know. but I, I think you know really what excites me about the two is that you can use the rose in the morning as well as in the evening, so nice. you're not gonna overuse it. Nice. So that's that's it's where my lot. PH though. Yeah, that's where my lot have always come unstuck in terms of, not unstuck, but when they'll say, you know, can I use it every night? And I would be like, well, no, not really. You're not supposed mm -hmm. to. So you could use it like every second night, every third night, whatever. And I think what happens is sometimes people get worried that because we say that, mm -hmm. that they shouldn't use it at all. Like it's yeah. almost of a, you know, it's like oh, yeah. maybe we shouldn't go there at all. But it's nice that there's something there for sensitivity. Mm. I think it's reminiscence of you know that luxury. You know, when you look at what we used to buy, there was no expectation of seeing a result with luxury. No, mm. it was just I've you were using it just for the feeling. Yeah, that's Pleasure. right. Yeah. Now I you can, ex yeah, well, fluff and puff. <laughs> yeah. Now, Expensive. honestly, with this, you it's beautiful to use, but you're also getting that result. Can I, can I just say, was it when I was at Heathrow going to China a couple of weeks ago? There was a lady in front of me at the World Duty Free, and I won't say the brand. But she, Tell was, me after that. she was spending like fifteen hundred pounds oh. on this on this brand, and I just really wanted to kind of tap her on the shoulder and say, "You, you need some need liquid gold, yeah, love," yeah. because you know what she was buying was it, it was purely about the aesthetics. It was about mm. the packaging, well, that's the name. What that's what someone wants to do. I know exactly. exactly who it is just by what you said. <laughs> <laughs> we all know who it is by what you said. But I think there's a real shift because what I found from the my Instagram crew, the Caroline Hirons made me do it. Psychos. <laughs> yeah. um, they're measuring pH of product. Um, they're they're measuring the free acid mm. of product. They're measuring the pH of cleansers. So, mm. and as much as I think that has to sort of reach a limit because it's all about the formula. As yes. a, it's not just the pH; it's the formula. Um, but I just find it. I think it's amazing that the, and they're calling out brands who are maybe not being as honest as they could be. Mm -hmm. um, so I think the fact that you can sort of stand in front of Alpha H and go, you know, this is me. There's no like yeah. board of directors. You're not trying to yeah. appease shareholders. It's just, you know, you and Dean and the girls and the granddaughter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Um, and Tom. But you trying know, to sort I of say, keep it. That comes as a, at an investment because we have to get safety assessments. Every one of these products is reverse engineered yeah. and completely um, validated by what's in there, the pH and the level of ingredients. And I do think, you know, doing business with Marks and Spencer and QVC, those companies make you the best that you can be because you have to be. You have to prove and you have to have documentation. Have exactly. And that's what I love about those whole processes where sometimes you can get a brand that's perhaps not in those markets that can still be a little bit fly under the radar and they can say things that perhaps a, you know, a Lies. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to say that, but you know, we're, we're accountable. By God, we're accountable, mm. you know, for everything that we do. And I Speaking of retailers, like I love that. Speaking of retailers, when are you going to the States? 
Michelle has news. <laughs> I just found out, which is why I'm asking the question. Yeah. Well, we're going to tell the people. Well, we're pretty excited because Bloomingdale's uh, shown a lot of interest, and it looks like we'll be launching uh, on the first of August. So really excited about it. I mean, it's a big, Finally. big market. It's I a mean, huge market. It's a huge market. And it's a huge market for really us. Really scares the pants off. Yeah, yeah sure it does. Sleeping. I would be scared because you know we are a family-owned business. We've got to be really careful where we put our resources. And right now we're seeing such huge growth here in the UK and Europe with being on all the airlines like mm. British Airways and I saw the I was so excited. Oh, we were just like, oh, I was bloody bawling my I was eyes looking at the oh my God! <laughs> I mean, can you imagine going from a spotty teenager at 14 um, to where I am now and seeing it on these airlines, it's absolutely, you know, really humbling. Amazing. Yeah, it is. It really is amazing. So, yeah, but America, that's a beast in itself, isn't it? It is a beast. Yeah. You're a beast, America. Yeah. Well, it is. Retail world. Yeah. Well, you're a beast. Yeah. Um, and then if I get my shiz together, which I'm hoping I will, when this goes up, you two will be sleep deprived <laughs> and living off caffeine because you're doing the TSV on QVC. Yeah, that's yeah. right, which we're really excited about and um, which will launch the Liquid Gold Rose here in the UK. Um, and we, I mean, I think it's, it's really the best collection that we've ever done. We have our Liquid Gold 24 Hour Moisture Repair Cream, which again is actually quite a new product. We've only launched yeah. this year. Um, and we've got our Liquid Gold Intensive Night Repair Serum and you know it, it's I think obviously we've been on QVC for 12 years. Is it 12 years? 12 years. Where has that time gone? I don't know and, and it's the, you know the way that you know we, we've seen a lot of brands come and go. Yeah. And, oh yeah. You know and, and <laughs> for us you know each year that we've been on QVC the brand continues to grow. Yeah. And we have what we call our alpha holics. I love that. I heard that for the first time today, the alpha holics, which <laughs> so I love because yeah, they are so people. Passionate. Ruth is an alpha holic. Yes. So that's right. Model recommends. But I'll and I'll link to I think she did one of her original reviews was literally liquid gold. I think yeah. yeah. A long, a leap of faith. Leap of faith. Yeah. yeah, long that's right. time ago. And she was um so she's an alpha holic. Mm -hmm. But I, I love that term, it's classic. Well and I think you know the, the great thing when you do a TSV Your fans are like you yeah, exactly. And also what what is again is very humbling because I, I see this a lot you know where you've got them encouraging other people you've got to try this because yeah. I've read so many reviews through QVC where people say you know I looked at this brand I've, I've seen Michelle and Tom I've watched the shows and I thought mm, shall I mm, no I'll stick to what I know because you know what we're saying is quite different. We have a yeah. different approach. Yeah. And we're, we're kind of proud of that, you know. But I think sometimes it takes people a while to get on board. Yeah. And then it's interesting when you do read what they say, when they say, why didn't I do this? Why didn't I try this years ago? And maybe sometimes it's just, that's the, that's the beauty of doing a, a Today's Special Value is that the, the brand awareness, but also because you get to explain things you know, you, often with QVC, you've got six minutes. Yeah, I've been there. You know, yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. tough. You love it's it. It's really tough. <laughs> and oh. you're very limited in what you can so say. So, oh, a little insider gossip, which I can tell you because I don't do it, but they, they can tell you. When you're on QVC, if you're on doing longer segment, you have to repeat yourself every six minutes. You're told to repeat yourself every six minutes because that's how often some people will tune in, see what's on air, yeah. go away and come back that's again. It. So exactly. you have to repeat yourself. And when you're doing a TSV, which I've done a TSV, we got drunk a long time ago <laughs> but we were snowed in and Daniel Sandler's lot got us a bit tipsy but um it's it's intense yeah. Yeah. it's intense and you've got to begin to feel like you've I've said this before but I'm just gonna say it again I've said this before I'm just gonna say it again so it's tiring but you know you guys have, how many TSVs have you done now if you've been there 12 years this is like oh, we've done water off a duck's back but you know yeah. you live on your um, adrenaline yeah. as well and you get so pumped up there's so many things you can and can't say and it's trying to remember what you can't say because we've come off air a couple of times Times. And now yeah. I was watching once. I was watching <laughs> once when didn't you just go? I think you might have said not quite eff it, but you did literally just take your makeup off on camera. Yeah, I did. Oh, yeah. Gosh. They went. They went bananas. They were like, <laughs> you know, because you have your earpiece yeah, and somebody's yeah, yeah. chatting away to you, and they're like, Michelle, what are you doing? <laughs> Put that cotton pad down. <laughs> what, what, why are you removing your eye makeup? You know, it's just. She's like, I'm just going to show you. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. that's yeah, exactly. yeah. it. Right. And That's another it. time we had a lady ring and said, can you put your uh, moisturiser on the bosom? And I said, yeah, you just rub it on your Charlie's. 
And um, did you so, get the voice, Michelle? Yeah, but you know, we, we sold out. So I think people like to see. Although we're quite a serious brand, we do have a sense of humour, and uh, we don't take know. ourselves very seriously. It is hard to do that though on, in the QVC model, because God bless it and all who sail in it. You do have to be careful, and the, you know, I feel bad for them because they are very strictly bound yeah, by television it. standards yes. and all that sort of stuff. It's blessed as advertising by Ofcom. Yeah. So. So, yeah. What a platform though, I mean where else can you go honestly and reach hundreds of thousands, be in someone's lounge room, yeah. I mean it's an absolute privilege isn't it, because yeah. you couldn't knock on the door and say hey, do I you want you to like, listen to me while yeah, I talk to you about my product. I want to come into your lounge room, I yeah. mean it's a real trust uh, connection with a customer and I just don't think there's a better platform actually out there mm -hmm. for it. Okay, in, in very Caroline style, uh, my camera just died. My very nice expensive filming camera just died. So we're going to finish the uh, very professional interview, vlog style, and I was literally about to ask you who you think your main competition is. And we'll do it almost like Q&A quick style. So who do you think your main competition is? I don't really think we've got it. I can tell you who they were in the very yes. early days. Who have you seen off? Our MD formulations were our oh, biggest competitor I going right them. back into the late 80s, early 90s, which is when we hit the ground running. Wow. But of course, we never had the budget. They no. were owned by a huge multinational, even at that time. So I don't know who it would be now. I don't know. I mean, I suppose... Um, the doctor brands because yeah. they're working with all doing know, acids and the acids and the retinols and but again you know well that's not us either because we don't I, I don't know there's, there's that sort of distance I think with those brands from the customers yeah. whereas we're very much connected um, you're literally calm yeah. literally yeah, and Michelle <laughs> <laughs> so um yeah, it, I think it's, you know, obviously in clinics there are certain brands, I suppose brands like SkinCeuticals that will be in, yeah. you know, because they've got the vitamin They're our biggest competitor, and, uh, obviously, in, in the salon world, in yeah, in the clinical But I mean, you know, sorry, but their price point, psh, yeah. you know, so... Um, yeah, we didn't even touch on your price point. I, I mean, think it, if I put a link below, people who haven't heard of you and then go and check will be like, well, actually, how much? Caroline, when, when we introduced the vitamin profiling collection to the press, we, I got to do Leslie Crowther's The Price is Right. I love it. Because we said to them, guess, okay, now everything we've told you, and you know, the kind of percentages that we're working yeah. with in here, you know, the maximum percentages that we can use are in the product, you know. Um, we sort of said, so, all of that in mind, and you've got 100 mils worth of, of serum across all four, you know, that are in there. That's massive. How, yeah, exactly. How much do you think it, it is going to retail for? And, you know, people were like, 250 pounds. And what does it retail for? Well, it's under 50 pounds. It's like 49.95. That's Tom ringing me on a Friday night at about <laughs> 6.30 when I've already had a couple of wine. Oh! <laughs> Mesh, what do you yeah, think about that? The price a bit lower, you know. <laughs> That's so. insane. It yeah. is, it's crazy. Yeah. But, I, I mean, tend not to pick the phone up on a Friday night when I see it so many more. <laughs> Just That's in case it. I have had it. She's glass. like, what else am I agreeing to? <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for oh. hanging out with me and putting up with my uh, clearly dodgy equipment. Oh, if... thank you. You and your dodgy equipment? Oh, my dodgy equipment <laughs> and my undercarriage and the boiler room <laughs> and all this sort of stuff. Um, I am going to get my shoes together and put this up on Saturday. So you can click off from here and go and look at them on QVC and look at their beautiful face. <laughs> Very glowy today, by the way, am Tom. I? I think the Great Wall of China did you good. Maybe it's this lovely lighting. We've got the honey lighting. We do have... What I like to call, which it looks like that. And in the industry, we call, I call it my Lizelle lighting. Which I can say they can't because there are certain people at QVC who get special lights. So I bring my own bitches. We might steal your rig. <laughs> you can borrow my lights, QVC. Yeah, you can borrow my lights. Um, good luck with the TSV. Thank you. And uh, congratulations on many, many more years of liquid gold. Mm. And grandbabies. Yeah. You'll be soon. Cough. <laughs> <laughs>